And what's your sexuality? What's up everybody, it's your girl Matt Givens back with another video. So today, as y'all can see by the title, today your girl's doing a mukbang. I feel like it has been forever since I've just done a life update, just talk to y'all, say what's up, what's going on, what's poppin'. I literally just went and got myself a bowl and some chips, okay? You have to get chips when you get in Chipotle. So I missed y'all, how you been doing, what's up, how's quarantine going for you, how's life? Ooh, so I got my bowl here. My chicken fell. So I hope y'all are doing well. I'm honestly starving, so I'm gonna just dig in, y'all. But basically, actually a couple months ago, I had asked you guys to ask me some questions on Instagram. Sorry if it's shaky and everything like that. Okay, this is a new setup. We're just gonna have to go with we're just gonna have to go with it for today. But anyways, I'm starving. Mmm. Mmm 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 mmm. Mm, 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 mm. First question, how you doing? I'm doing really well, actually. Um, I honestly have no complaints. Life is cool. I just got back in town not too long ago. I had went to Virginia for my birthday. Turn up, turn up, turn up. You know what's crazy? The last time I did one of these videos was for my birthday last year, for my 21st birthday. I'm gonna link the video down below. But it was another Q&A mukbang. So yeah, maybe I should do this like as a yearly birthday thing. But I went to Virginia for my birthday and that was a lot of fun. Y'all, I honestly feel like it's so hard to talk and eat at the same time. Like, I was not raised like that, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, so <laughs> I went to Virginia for my birthday and I had a great time. I have got my eyelashes done, y'all, but I'm allergic to eyelash extensions. Every time I get my eyelashes done, my eyes literally break out, like, to the point where they get really red, like, extremely red, like, bloodshot red. They get really, really puffy. Like, I might insert a picture or something, but it just is a mess. So, I ended up having to take, pull all my eyelashes off before I even got back home. Like, I ended up pulling them off, like, on the plane and everything like that. I ended up literally scrubbing my eyes so hard that my contact popped out when I was on a plane and that's actually in my birthday vlog which I'm be uploading after this video. So be on the lookout for that. It was super lit, turned fun. Um, I can't believe I'm 22 though, y'all. Like that's super lit. All right, so next question, where do you live? I am currently in Ohio. You guys remember I was in Vegas for a little while but I'm in Ohio right now. When can I give you a kiss? No time soon, probably never. Okay. But nah, for real though, like, no, I'm not. Y'all, I honestly cannot, be I can't remember the last time I've kissed somebody. No, I really cannot. <laughs> mm -mm. Mm -mm. We don't do no kissing. No kissing, no kissing. Don't know where your mouth been, but I know where it going. If you know that song, you a real boy. Hey, that song go. But yeah, so no, you cannot give me a kiss. Y'all, it's so crazy because I'm honestly like a hopeless romantic. Like, you know what I'm saying? I always wanted the real love with the white picket fence and, you know, just the extra, you know, like the matching clothes, the matching outfits, like the lavish dates, like everything like that. Like, yo, I'll be wondering what? Hey, I'm trying to put rose petals on beds, all that. But I'm like, yo, honestly, y'all, I haven't been in a relationship in like three years. Like, this is really random, but it was another question. A lot of people kept asking me if I'm single. Yes, I'm single. Okay, let me just answer it right here, right now. So I'm single, and I haven't been in a relationship in years. Like, years. Okay, years. And... Mmm. I think I honestly just got so used to being by myself and being with myself. And even my last relationship, for the most part, it was long distance. So, I got used to, like, not seeing my significant other for real. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, so I think I just kind of got into that habit and that mode. So then, 
when I was out of a relationship, it didn't really change for me. Sorry, y'all. But it didn't really change for me, you know what I'm saying? And then now I've just been super focused on myself and my business and growing and becoming a better version of myself and becoming a better woman. Like, I honestly feel like that's just been hitting me really hard lately. I'm like, yo, like, I just turned 22. Like, I cannot have a repeat of these years that I've had previously. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, this year I want totally new things for myself. I want better for myself. Like, there's a lot of things I've been working on behind the scenes that I cannot wait for you guys to see. But I really do just want to focus on becoming a better version of myself. And then I feel like once I'm at a certain point, then I will start, you know, going out dating more and stuff like that. It's not that I wouldn't go out on dates and stuff like that. But it's that nobody wants to date for real. Like, people want to, you know what I'm saying? A hey, pull up. Do this, do that, you know what I'm saying? Pay for this, pay for that. Like, at that point, I'll take myself out. You know why? Because I enjoy myself, I enjoy my company, I don't gotta sit there and listen to you. Y'all, I done went on a date before, and this, this man had the nerve to come to this date musty. After I already drove myself. I already paid for my own stuff. And then he had the nerve to be musty, like, <laughs> I was so pissed. If y'all only knew how pissed I was, like, you a grown man, like, that's not acceptable at all, like, and the thing is, you know, I don't care about, you know what I'm saying, diseases, disorders, none of that, like, let somebody know if that's the case, you know what I'm saying, I'm not a judgmental person at all, but I know that wasn't the case, they was just being lazy, and I don't know if they was nervous and forgot to put on the other, I don't know what the case was, but long story short, no. First and last date. Uh-uh. Mm-mm. -uh. And y'all, I got this juice. I never tried this before, y'all, but we're going to try it today. Cranberry, apple, peach. That's a lot of flavors, so we're going to see what this hit and light. But yeah, so I've been single for a while. I just want to focus on myself, and I feel like when I'm at the place that I really want to be at with my business, my YouTube, like, everything, I feel like then that person will come into my life, you know what I'm saying, or... Somebody that's already here, okay? <laughs> What's tea? <laughs> hey, y'all, just play. Um, but no, I swear it's always something. Hold up, okay, y'all. So I'm about to try this drink out. It tastes like something I've had before, but I can't put my finger on it. It's like one of those light, kind of fruity type of drinks. Almost like an apricot type of juice. Apricot? I don't know. It's good though, y'all. That's good. Um, and you gotta get the large chips because they be trying to. Come on now. What am I? What am I do with three chips? What am I gonna do with that? Okay. And y'all, I don't get the. I get the chicken um bowl and I put the chicken on the side because I actually do not like their chicken at all. So it's really a veggie bowl. But I feel as though I just hate feeling like. <laughs> I hate feeling like somebody's scamming me, y'all. So the veggie bowl is literally the same amount as the chicken bowl. Like, that don't make sense to me. Like, I'm paying for a protein. and Nah, I want my chicken. Whether I eat it or not, I'll decide later, even though I usually choose not to eat it. I ain't gonna lie. But I still just like to get it because, bro, what if I'm paying for it? I want everything that I'm paying for. Everything. If I'm paying for it, I want it. Okay? Mm-mm. All right, next question. Do you still listen to Lil Skies? Yes, I do. He's a great artist. I haven't heard a new song by him in a while. I think the last new song he came out with, I reacted to. So I haven't heard a, a new song by him in a while. Um, where do you live? Oh, I already answered that one. What would you do to change the world that we're living in? Mm, that's a great question. Honestly, I would just be myself. I feel like in this world, like nobody is really themselves. Originality has kind of like left. I don't want to say that it's left completely, but I feel like it's hard because a lot of stuff is given to you. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, if it's not broke, don't fix it type of stuff. And you kind of see what works. Like we see what society likes right now. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like a lot of people go with what society likes instead of doing their own thing and kind of like changing society's idea or you know being different and thinking outside of the box for instance making these youtube videos and everything like that is like very big and important to me because i have add and anxiety well i was diagnosed with that i don't believe in labeling and man-made medications and stuff like that which is why i have my channel so that people know like even if you have mental disorders or whatever is wrong with you you can still live your best life and live a life that ha is happy for you and works for you like i feel like a lot of people try to push you to do one thing 
shouldn't be this way and there's only like one right way and that's not the case like when I dropped out of school I got so much backlash from my family and everything like that like nobody could really see my vision even to this day still people are like oh well YouTube that's not a career that's not a y'all I'm not looking for no career do you know how indecisive I am? I'm indecisive and I'm extremely creative. Like one thing for the rest of my life would literally drive me insane. There's no way I would do that. That's why I always knew entrepreneurship would have to be my go-to. You know what I'm saying? And make that work some way because I'm just somebody that like my mind is constantly racing like all the time. Every minute, every second of the day is racing, 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 racing. Like I overanalyze and overthink everything like like I honestly don't even know how to put it into words or like describe it or give an example because it's hard like unless you're in my head but I feel like everything I overthink like let's say somebody posts something like I don't know in my head I'm thinking oh dang they talking about me like you know what I'm saying like it's something like I don't know like I just take everything like really deep personally that's not like that at all like you know what I'm saying like if somebody doesn't text me back right away like although you know they probably busy or something like that in my head it's like dang they hate me like you know what I'm saying did I say the wrong thing why did I say that like you know what I'm saying like that's what's going on in my head even though it's not like that at all like and so just like growing up I just really had to learn to kind of knock out those noises and knock out those thoughts because they're not real like it's honestly incredible how powerful the human brain is and how our minds work and stuff like that because you can literally have everything you want in your life you can have anything you want and you can also be the reason why you have nothing at all in your life you know what I'm saying all because of your mindset all because of the way you think all because of your perspective all because if you're optimistic or pessimistic you know what I'm saying like all of those things go back to you as an individual and how you choose to live your life because those are also traits and things that you can change as well so like for me personally I feel like people look at other people's lives and things like that and think they're oh my goodness they're perfect or you look at somebody else's relationship like oh my goodness like you see he just put out all them rose petals and he got her this and that like not knowing that that was him fixing the fact that he done cheated on her lied to her done had eight babies you know what I'm saying like and all y'all seeing is him putting the rose petals on the bed and thinking about oh my god that's relationship goals like I think that a lot of people just need to focus on themselves and what they got right in front of them because the grass is not greener on the other side that is a huge 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 misconception and i honestly feel like that's something that comes with maturity because honestly y'all it's 50 60 70 year olds that are not mature that never grew up you know what i'm saying that are mentally still stuck because they didn't take the precaution they didn't take the necessary steps that they needed on order to actually grow like just because you get older with age does not mean that you're growing you know what i'm saying you're just getting old so you might see somebody with money and be like dang like their life is easy like what do they have to complain about like you know what i'm saying but then at the same time okay they got money but then they got all this pressure on them don't nobody believe in them for real happiness is the real ultimate goal for life like y'all you can have all the money in the world and you can have no money in the world and the person with no money could be 10 times way happier than a person with all the money in the world the money means nothing like you know what I'm saying like honestly if you took money out of the equation and the only reason it's like that is because that we have been brought up in a society that has made it that way you know what I'm saying you remember money did not used to exist like years like okay years and years and years ago you know we started with the barter system like the trade system that's what everybody did like you know what I'm saying and the only people that still really use the barter system I, I want to say it's like the Amish that's don't quote me on that okay y'all I'll be like what is this girl talking about but hopefully you know the people that are picking up what i'm putting down y'all understand it no exactly i know it's a lot of different countries and stuff that use the barter system still but i'm talking about like you know solely here in america and stuff like that again do not quote me this is just me pulling this out of my okay the whole idea of concept of like trading trades you know what i'm saying like hey my gift and talent is that i'm a carpenter like oh okay well my gift and talent is that i know how to fix this that and a third okay well all right well you build this for me and i'll fix that for you da, 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 da. that's why you never needed any money now when they came out with money that's when stuff started to really separate you know what i'm saying and then that's when you get the rich and the poor you know what i'm saying and and the big gap and the divide because they kind of made it that way but for me i don't even know where i'm going talking about all of this but i think that the way my mindset works y'all is i kind of just take things back to like 
where they started, how everything started and how we got to be to what it is and where not necessarily did we go wrong, but where did the message change? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, when people play telephone, you know what I'm saying? And it's like, you tell a story, but by the time that story gets to the, to the other person, it's a completely different story. And I feel like that's kind of like what life is. You know what I'm saying? It's like telephone. But the story that I have been told, I feel like it's not the right story as to what really has happened. You know what I'm saying? But nobody really knows the right story. So that's kind of just what you got to go along with but at the end of the day like i feel like that's something that's very like interesting to me i honestly feel like the advancement of technology like it made people more talented in different ways and different avenues you know what i'm saying before hundreds of years ago you couldn't be no graphic designer like that was non-existent you know what i'm saying but also nowadays you have less people who are plumbers less people who are carpenters and stuff like that i feel like since those things aren't like cool in societal you know eyes and stuff like that it makes people less adventurous to try new things you know what i'm saying my whole whole life is really based on faith and I'm not even like a super religious person y'all know I'm not religious at all I'm spiritual yes there's a big difference okay I've talked about this many of times that I have to go into a whole video going in the to the depths of everything because you know I'm not going to touch on everything in this video but I'm very 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 spiritual not religious so I feel like you can really truly have everything that you want in this life but the way that they got it set up is like you can only do so much because only so many you only have so many options that are actually going to put food on your table and make you money which is like working for people and i feel like a lot of people feel like okay well that's the better option but i feel like working for yourself is just way better in my opinion basically i say all this to say that it's important to discover who you are and discover what you truly like and discover what you don't like so that you can actually have those choices and you have those options for yourself like do not put yourself into a box working for a job for the rest of your life because they pay well like if you're not happy and you're not fulfilled it's not really worth it and even if you're doing that to feed your family like they'll be able to feel your energy is not right you know what i'm saying like i'm not somebody that's ever really cared what other people have like even now like people judge me i know people probably like hey that girl about crusty broke disgust you know what i'm saying people say what they want about me okay but baby i ain't gonna never let you see what's really up inside these pockets okay you know i actually love the fact that people don't know what i really have financially or just materialistically or just anything like that because then i feel like you really get the opportunity to learn people you get to learn and understand people for who they are are you a judgmental person or are you not are you going to be here with me when you think i have stuff and when you think i don't like you know what i'm saying like i feel like it really allows you to see the people around you like if you didn't have money and then you get money and people start to act different or if you start doing well for yourself even if you don't got the materialistic aspect like you will start to see people are leeches you know what i'm saying they leech onto you they grab onto you and they hold on to you until you do well so that they can be a part of it and i'm not one of them people and y'all not about to leech on me because i know exactly who is around me and who you know what i'm saying is doing a, this that and the third like i don't play games when it comes to people at all i've had a very i've had a lot of very bad experiences when it comes to like friendships and stuff and i don't want to say even people necessarily turning on me but they were like a completely different person from who I thought I was friends with, you know what I'm saying? And they did kind of like, you know, eyes were open, stuff, stuff hit the fan. You know, I figured out a lot about the people around me because of situations that happen. But, you know, a lot of those times, you know, you might be upset like, dang, I lost a friend or da 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 da, -da but you just learn so much about yourself in a process yo like i promise you learn so much about yourself in a process it's like dang i really allow these type of people around me why would i subject myself to be doing all this well why did i do all this in the first place you know what i'm saying like it don't even be about the other person a lot of times i think a lot of lessons in life are meant so that you can grow and learn for yourself and i feel like that's where a lot of people go wrong is that they go through stuff they go through bad stuff and they blame everybody else around them or they you know keep doing the bad stuff that got them into the place that they were at the first time instead of making the changes sitting back looking like yo what's really going on here and fixing it you know what i'm saying instead they do the same stuff over and over and over again like if you getting cheated on in all your relationships at some point you got to realize hey you picking them you know what i'm saying i don't care if people coming to you or doing this that and the third you have something in you that is attracting those type of people so you got to figure out within yourself okay well what is it well, do I know my worth? Are my standards high? Because you got to realize if you settling, then you're going to get what you're settling for every single step of the way. But if you like, nope, I'm not settling for nothing. I want some da 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 and they better come pick me up and open the door and da 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 Then you sit there and you wait until that's exactly what you get. 
otherwise you're gonna keep getting the same thing over and over again and i feel like a lot of people they just be like oh okay well then they keep getting a bad relationship bad relationship and then they just give up be like all right well let me go to the dude who he was i right. you know what i'm saying he wasn't the best but he was all right like you're still settling you know what i'm saying like i think what I've been learning is patience. It's just being patient. If you want big things, it takes a long time to get those big things. You know what I'm saying? Of course, everybody's time frame is different, but sometimes you can't get what you want until you are mentally that person that is in deserving enough to have that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I can't say that I want to have a multi-million dollar business and most of the day I'm eating and watching TV. Like, why would I feel as though I deserve that? I don't put in the work at all. I don't like you know what I'm saying like I'm not goofy I'm not oblivious to what's going on you know what I'm saying I'm realistic I feel like a lot of people I don't know if it's they lack realism or it's just kind of like non-existent I know that the reason I'm not where I want to be in life is because of me it has nothing to do with anybody else now of course I feel like everything that's happened in my life was on purpose and it had to happen so that I can grow and learn like y'all oh my gosh I've grown so much I've grown so much over the years like even from when I first started making my YouTube videos and everything like that like I've just matured a lot mentally physically like health wise like I've been doing really well like I put on more weight like I don't know if you guys remember but I was in the hospital a few years ago and I had lost so much weight and I wasn't able to gain it back for like years like so just just recently like I've been really gaining my weight back I've been happy like everything's been going well for me because I literally completely cut everybody out of my life who I felt like wasn't just here for the right reasons you know what I'm saying I anything that they did that I felt like was funny or weird cut off like I really don't got no explanation for you or anything like that because I don't have the time because when I am where I feel as though I should truly be in life ain't nobody about to be messing up my you know empire that I just built and I just sacrificed every you know what I'm saying like no don't even allow people to be able to have that option don't allow people to just walk all over you and think that they gonna have whatever they have with you and, and take Take whatever is yours uh -uh. don't let people do that and this goes for men and female i honestly feel like there are a lot of good men in this world that are used you know what i'm saying whether it's by friends family or whatever the case may be and it just makes it you know it's just upsetting for me because it's like society makes it seem like oh well men don't do that this and a third but it's like the ones that do y'all be tr trying to play them like you know what i'm saying like and this even goes for myself like i know i've learned to really like appreciate a good person whether they male or female like just appreciate good people in your life while you have them because everybody makes choices everybody has decisions that they you know can make and if somebody's choosing to be a good person most of the time or all of the time or choosing to treat you right why would you choose to treat them bad like you know what I'm saying like you need to appreciate those type of people and show them that love and care because they need it too like just because people are strong and they able to uplift you and you know support you don't mean that they don't need that same support themselves so I feel like it's you know honestly important to just reciprocate that type of energy to your loved ones and your friends and stuff like that and just show people that you truly love them i know that i have gone like on a rant this whole like q a but i don't know y'all i've just kind of had a lot of different things on my mind that i kind of wanted to get off on my chest it's been a while since i just have sat and talked to you guys i am going to pull up the rest of the questions though so what's your advice to for somebody trying to find themselves spiritually that's a really great question as well um really just focus on yourself really be alone like no phone no nothing just be alone like i'm the type i love going to the park i love the park um sitting in the grass and just literally talking to god talking to yourself talking to the universe you know what i'm saying getting out the notebook and writing down like everything why you even want to be like what even was the push for you or what made you feel like you know what i'm saying you're diving into spirituality you know what i'm saying and i don't know i feel like it's a learning thing so keep watching videos spiritual people keep you know your faith alive always and everything like that spirituality is lit you know what i'm saying like once you really tap into it and you really tap into yourself in the universe baby listen you know what i'm saying it's crazy favorite movies 
my favorite movie of all time is Unaccompanied Minors. Ooh, I love that movie. It's so good. It's so good. Oh my gosh. And Polar Express. I don't know why. I just love Christmas movies. Like, I really, really do love Christmas movies. And Just Go With It, Adam Sandler. That was a great, great movie. That's probably one of my favorite movies as well of all time. And I think in Pitch Perfect, I would say. Pitch Perfect was a great movie as well. I would say those are probably some of my favorite movies. How do you feel about quarantining now? Are you still doing it? <coughs> Right as you, right as I asked that. <coughs> um, technically, I'm self quarantining right now because I was on vacation, so I'm just chilling. I'm not trying to, you know, expose anybody to anything because I was on, you know, I'm taking flights and stuff like that. I had connecting flights, but I just got on four different airplanes. You know what I'm saying? Like I was out in the woods, like and even though I know I ain't got it, y'all know. Hey, y'all already know how I feel about this whole COVID situation, so I ain't gonna say too much about it. But we're gonna save that for another day. Are you single? Yes, 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 I'm single. And what's your sexuality? Um, no, I'm playing, but that's so funny because that's a, actually a question that I get a lot. Somebody has just DM me asking me if I was gay, talking about some, please don't be gay, we need you. First of all, I don't know. I'm gonna just give you the benefit of the doubt and assume that you are not of the age to know that that is very ignorant and inappropriate to ask somebody. I don't like questions like that. And it, and it has nothing to do with, you know, whether I'm gay or not gay. It's just like, why that's inappropriate. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like when it comes to sexuality and stuff like that, that's things that people have no choice over. You know what I'm saying? Like, but I feel like that's just a deep, deep conversation. So to answer your question, those that know me, no, is that what's going on? But yes, I think I'm gonna wrap it up here, y'all. I still have so much Chipotle to eat. I've just been rambling, talking this whole time. So I apologize for all my true mukbangers that are like, girl, if you don't eat their food, if you don't eat their rice, eat their rice. I apologize. I'm sorry, I'm gonna eat it. I talk too much. I really do. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you like the king, please give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button and press the notification bell so you guys know my next video is out. I appreciate you guys and I love you guys so, so much. All the love and support you guys have been giving me literally means the world to me and I cannot thank you guys enough. I hope everybody, everybody, everybody has an absolutely, absolutely, absolutely amazing day. Keep being great. Keep being original. Keep being true to being you. I love you. I appreciate you and I cannot wait to see you tomorrow. Bye.